Hi, this is JP from Not Alights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Sinister Motives expansion playthrough. And this time we are playing with Ghost Spiders protection deck against Mysterio on standard difficulty. As with the previous uh, videos, I am playing without any campaign add-ons, so we are playing standalone, just so that you can see how the scenario functions without the added uh, content from the campaign setups, etc. And uh, we are playing with Ghost Spider and uh, the protection deck, so we'll see how that goes, so let's get started. We are ready to begin. We have done the setup for this scenario already. So uh, during setup uh, we are instructed to put a shifting operation minion in play engage with each player. We are playing two solo, so only one player. So we have one shifting operation which has the guard uh, on it. Uh, it. It has a text when defeated if this minion was defeated with excess damage, the defeating player shuffles the top card of the encounter deck into their deck. And how this deck uh, scenario functions, uh, first off let's look at Mysterio. So uh, we have the Seeds of Fear, forced response. After you resolve a boost card during Mysterio's activation, place that card in your discard pile if that has the illusion trait. And this means that we get cards shuffled into our deck and also in our discard which get shuffled into our deck later. Uh, what this means is that uh, forced interrupt on the uh, maze of mirrors reads uh, when you would draw or discard an encounter card from your deck, deal it to yourself as face down encounter card and draw one card. So we will get a bunch of encounter cards uh, during this scenario and we try to handle those. Um, other than that, Mysterious is pretty straightforward. We just try to defeat Mysterio before uh, we get traded out. There are two main schemes uh, to go through, so hopefully we can defeat Mysterio faster than losing the threat or anything like that. We'll see. So we are have shuffled the decks and we are ready to begin. So let's draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we get jump, flip, return the favor, bait and switch, web bracelet, phantom flip, return a favor. We probably don't need the phantom flip right at the start. We could uh, also card plate and switch keep this in hand then draw two cards blandly and phantom flip well some different cards but not that much okay well um, let's see what we can do so nothing to do in alter ego we'll just flip to uh, hero mode I think we will play the web bracelets using uh, hmm, choices. I think uh, I think we want, just want to start hitting. So I'm playing Plan B, one of the returns, the favors, and. Uh, Then we'll just uh, defeat this guard minion. Uh, we do excess damage, so we have to uh, shuffle one encounter card into our deck. And even though we have different uh, clear sleeves for both decks, uh, the instructions say that to ignore it. And if you see that you have an <laughs> encounter card on top of your deck, just know it. But you could play this um, with opaque sleeves so that you don't know what card you're drawing. Okay. So after we hit, uh, we will uh, do the. We'll do the phantom flip. So we 
remove threat and ready and draw a card. This is the piquet and punch, but uh, we will use plan B to discard a random card to deal another 2 damage. So a total of 4 damage, just want to burn down Mysterio as fast as possible, then we still can hit for 2 more damage. So we'll do that. And that is everything we can do, we're ready up. So a good hitting start to the scenario. One, two, three, four, five. So we go to the villain phase. We have the phantom flip, web binding, fan B across the spider verse and jump flip. So uh, we'll add a threat to the main scheme. Mysterio attacks against us. We will defend uh, one plus three. So we'll actually play uh, we don't have any allies, so the across the spider verse is useless at the moment. But plant, but and uh, we can use it as uh, a wild resource. So, what uh, do we want to? Oh, we can't use it. Okay. Oh, I'm using it to play the plant phantom flip. So uh, we uh, ignore one of the damages that would have gone through, and we get to ready. Then we get an encounter card. Uh, shifting apparition, so it comes into play with guard, so we need to again deal with that. Okay, so that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Oh yeah, uh, before that we got ready, so I'm drawing a card with the web race. Uh, it's a hero response, we can't do it in, order to go, um, in, in uh, the villain phase. No, it, it can't be done. So... Uh, yeah, so I'm drawing one card, so it's another web bracelet, so we'll probably play that next turn and then just plan B. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. So this turn will be quite the fast one. We'll use plan B and web binding, play web bracelet. And uh, then we will plan B defeat this enemy and we again deal excess damage so we get another counter card into the uh, in our fair deck shuffle that in so we should do this underneath the table but it's a, it's pretty hard uh, with my setup without me bumping the camera so I'm just shuffling not looking what's on top trying not to look at least uh, then um, I think I'm just going to hit for two, and that will be all. So we ready up, we draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we get uh, George Stacy, what doesn't kill me, Genius, Jump Flip, and Spider UK. So pretty good. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat, Mysterious attacks, I will defend again. And uh, three damage, and oh yeah. If uh, the boost card would be an illusion, we would have uh, have to put into our discard, but both of these uh, boost cards were not illusions, so that is okay, we didn't mess up yet. I'm playing, uh, I'm using George Stacy uh, to play jump flip, oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to remove threat last turn, but now I'll remove two with the jump flip and ready and draw a card, we get the pirouette and punch, which is good, then we get an encounter card, it is old grudge, and that's minion gets plus one hit point, uh, when revealed, uh, so it's the uh, encounter deck, this file and set aside area for your nemesis minion, that uh, uh, then reveal that minion, but I don't want to do that, so I'm actually using the genius to play pirouette and punch, so this, uh, when revealed, is ignored, and we also deal uh, two damage to the villain. And uh, I'll get to draw a card. Oh yeah, this should have been readied. So. Um, that is everything, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. So 
Um, let's see what we can do here. We can't play Young Love. Uh, we could play what doesn't kill me, but yeah, well, it readies our hero, which is good. We can hit for two. I'm actually just uh, plan being. So, let's shuffle. We lose uh, what doesn't kill me. Or plan B. And Mysterio goes to phase 2. When revealed in the play order, shuffle at the top card of the encounter deck into each player's deck. And Mysterio has 17 points remaining. So we are at the half point. Um, so one card gets shuffled here. A lot of deck shuffling in this scenario, so it slows down a bit, but I think this is a bit, quite quick scenario because there's not that much to keep track of. Yep. Then uh, we are done, so we ready up. I'm discarding the young love, hitting the spider UK. One, two, three. Uh, we get this as an encounter card. We draw another card in instead. So we are at five. We get silk, what doesn't kill me. Ticket to the multiverse, Spider Man, and Spider UK. So a lot of allies. Then uh, Mysterio. Unfortunately, we don't have any events that. Us, but uh, mystery attacks I won't defend so uh, 2 plus 0 and it is not an illusion so it just take 2 damage nothing more then we get an encounter card and we had one so we have to resolve both first off we get deja vu peril uh, when you are resolving this card other players can help you when revealed choose to either take one damage or place one threat Main scheme. Oh yeah, we forgot to add threat. Okay, and uh, then uh, shuffle deja vu into any player's deck. Shuffle into my own, and I am actually adding one threat here. Okay. Then we get an assault, and now I think. Uh, do I want to just take that also? I think I'm okay taking that. So, 2 plus 3, so 5 damage. Ouch. Should have defended for sure, but it is what it is. And yeah, this is the wrong discord. I'm just double checking. And we. We got an illusion, so this goes into our discord. And that is it, so... That is that round, let's go to the next round. First off, uh, let's decide which cards uh, we want to play. I'm just playing Silk and Healing. Uh, so, I'll hit for two. Then I will use Ticket to the Multiverse, use it as a strength to deal 2 damage. Ready my hero. And I'll play Silk. And um, I control a web warrior so I can search for a deck for an. I'll, I'll decide to search for the Shadow of the Past and uh, shuffle that in the. Or, or Discard that. So then I will uh, thwart one silk, then hit for two. Or, yeah. Actually, let's not hit for two. So 
uh, just forward. Uh, I'll stay ready. Uh, go to Alter Ego. Heal for three. You're at eight, so it's okay. You can just ready next round. Then I will shuffle. Get the multiverse back into the deck. Okay, and that is it, so we ready up. We draw back up to five, uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We get energy, Spider Man, Ice Man, Alice, Return of Favor, Bait and Switch, Times Two, and Parental Guide. We go to the villain phase, we add one threat here, Mysterious Schemes for two, plus one, and give you additional boost card. That is an illusion, that is a zero. So, uh, three, so we're at five, and this gets in, uh, into our discard, get an encounter card, and it is God of Guard, and I am discarding one of the back bracers. Don't have any reactions to do. So, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We will, first off, uh, just to hero mode then uh, uh, let's see we have after we play uh, Miles Morales we have three web warriors so I'm playing Miles Morales using energy one of the bait and switches and uh, parental guidance we will Stun and Confuse Mysteria. That slows him down a bit. Uh, oh yeah, Silk has one damage on her. Then I'm actually bait and switching. So we remove the stun and remove four from here. Because... Uh, now we can focus on just dealing damage and not risk Mysterio uh, advancing the main scheme. So I'm just uh, hitting with uh, Spider-Man and Ghost Spider for 4. And Silk will just be a uh, jump blocker for now. Then uh, we ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five, which is an encounter card, and we draw one more. We get plan B, a web of life and destiny, ghost, kick, strength, and what to kill me. Uh, we add a threat to the main scheme, mystery attacks, uh, still, silk will defend, and uh, it is uh, not an illusion, but it is a uh, boost ability, so choose to either spend resources to deal this card to yourself as a base down counter call. Not understanding well. Uh, this doesn't do anything, so As a boost uh, card, this doesn't do anything. If we don't want this to be our best down encounter card, so we just. Yeah, Silk is defeated. I mean, there might be a typo, not sure. Uh, then we get an encounter card, so two encounter cards to resolve. Mm. Deja vu. We'll add one threat. This shuffles back here. Now we have like half of the deck is encounter cards, so we are bound to draw a lot of them. And we get weakness from within. When revealed, place one additional threat here for each card in your hand. Five, so it comes into play with six. But I think we just try to burst down Mysterio now. 
So, uh, that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. First off, um, we want to hit with Ghost Spider for 2. Uh, then we'll play Ghost Kick using these two. So we deal 6. And ready. Then we will hit for two more. Play what doesn't kill me. Ready, deal two. And uh, this is not the Ghost Spider ability, but the ability to ready on the uh, event. So with just. Oh, yeah, we would have drawn one more card with that, so we get another Ghost, ghost Kick, but it is pretty. So we'll just finish off the game by attacking with Ghost Spider. And on top of that, if we still need it, we could have uh, used Plan B to deal two more damage and hit with the Spider-Man as one already. But yeah, that was Mysterio, a pretty fast game with Ghost Spider. We were able to uh, deal enough uh, damage to defeat Mysterio quite fast and weren't um, overrun by all of the counter cards coming from our own deck. So, hope you guys found this uh, playthrough useful to see how this uh, scenario functions. Thanks for watching and until next time.